Writing a good cover letter is an important step in the job searching process. In this YouTube video, I will write a cover letter example for a college student. Now, once you're done writing your own version, I would advise you to download matching and professional looking resume and cover letter templates. Click on the link in the description for more information. Now, before I get started, let me first emphasize on the most important writing tips. First off, pick a basic font style that is easy to read. Calibri, Arial or Times New Roman will do. In addition, be consistent and choose just one font style for both your cover letter and resume. Secondly, choose a font size that is easy to read. For example, a 10 to 12 point font size is fine. Again, make sure to use the same font size for your resume. Thirdly, a professional cover letter has margins of one inch on all sides, which is similar to the normal settings in Microsoft Word. Furthermore, make sure that each paragraph is single spaced with a white space in between each paragraph. Fourthly, a formal cover letter consists of four paragraphs, including an introduction, motivation, matching and closing paragraph. I will show you what to include in each paragraph in just a second. At last, keep your cover letter short, concise and to the point, with around 300 words, and keep it on a one-page document. Ok, that's it for the writing tips. Next up, I want to start writing the example letter. First thing you need to do is listing your contact information on the left side. In between two white spaces underneath, we put the date, and then the hiring manager's name, and job title, followed by the company's information. As for the salutation, we write Dear Mr. Roberts. Now, if it concerns a woman, then you need to write Dear Miss Roberts. If the recipient is a married woman, you can use Mrs. as the abbreviation. In case you don't know the reader's gender, then I would suggest you to write the full name, as in Dear Kyle Roberts. If you can't, after thorough research, find any contact information, then I would advise you to write Dear Hiring Manager instead of, for example, to whom it may concern. Either way, try to address your letter to someone, or else it creates a disconnect between you and the reader. Ok, now this is how you structure the beginning of an American English cover letter. For British English, you need to put the contact information and date on the right side. Then you need to put the date first, followed by the month, and exclude the comma. Underneath we notice that the subject is included in the British English letter. It is commonly used in the UK, but usually left out in the US. For American usage, the month is placed first, followed by the date, and you need to insert a comma between the day and year. We also include a dot after the abbreviation MR or MS. For British English, you can leave it out. In the first paragraph, also called the introduction, you need to include probably the most important information. State the position that you are applying for, where you found the vacancy, and the establishment you want to work at. Furthermore, inform the reader when you want to start the internship, and also state the exact time duration of the internship. In the second paragraph, you shortly introduce yourself, followed by your motivation for the job opportunity. Try to answer questions like, what triggers you to work in marketing? Or, why do you want to do your internship at their company? Now show that you are in fact specifically interested in this job role at their company. In the third paragraph, you need to like this video if you like what you see so far, and subscribe for more related content. Ok, so you need to inform the reader where you currently stand, so your educational and career journey. Furthermore, you need to match your qualifications to the job requirements and try to emphasize your major achievements and working experience. In the last paragraph, you need to summarize your cover letter and express your interest to further discuss your candidacy, refer to your attached references and resume and include your phone number so they can easily reach out to you. Now don't forget to thank the reader for taking their time to review your cover letter and close in a compelling way. So kind or best regards, followed by your name and surname. 
Alright, we covered the most important writing tips and made an example letter of around 300 words and 4 paragraphs. Want to see this example and all of my other examples in text format? Or want to download matching and professional looking resume and cover letter templates? Then visit my site via the hyperlink in the description. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. If this video was helpful, then the like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!